hey she get plans i hope you all had an amazing weekend um i'm hoping to pause this video before that but if i don't you can always catch up with it i've got like tons of tutorials i need to pop but let's see how it goes let's just see how it goes um oh my bad i welcome the new subbies thank you for joining this beautiful family and if you're watching this um video by accident please don't forget to subscribe by subscribing you're helping me to grow you know what i mean so please and if you want to follow me on instagram i hope you follow me anyway let's just engage i've said in one of my past tutorials let's engage let's engage um you can follow me on instagram it's makeup by rosie you're gonna see the name anyway it's makeup by rosie it's on facebook it's the same name let's just um grow each other let's support each other you know what i mean my brows are done if you want to catch up with my brow tutorial you can watch that i've got like um couple of tutorials on um, how to achieve the perfect brow and um, I'm hoping to post a new one I did like two or three last year I'm hoping to post a new one for 2018 oh, that's fine anyway um, and I'm blending my transition shade you can use any color I know I've been saying it I'm just repeating myself for the new studies um you can use any color depending on um the look you're going for so i'm using this hot pink by um bh cosmetics taken to brazil palette and i'm blending that and with a precise brush i'm blending her a dark eyeshadow i'm blending that into the crease I believe if you can blend, you won't have issues playing in colors, to be honest with you guys. And that's what I love to do. I love to challenge myself. I don't love doing a particular look. I don't love doing a simple look because I just think it is too simple. I want like a look that will challenge me, a look that will bring out my skills, a look that will bring out my talent. You know what I mean? So if you're watching and um, you're thinking, oh my gosh, she loves color, oh my gosh, she's loud, blah, 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 it helps develop your skills. Blending colors is not that easy, as you see, until you start, then you know. So I think it's bad for people to condemn artists, to see people, you know what I mean? You post, you post, you post in some groups, and you see people, you know, um, calling out the hatties. And I'll be like, no, that's that's pretty rude. You don't do that. You don't know the energy and hope this person has put into this loop to bring it out like this. If you don't know anything about it, then you just crawl. You just go over. There. There's no point. Um, drop in a back comment. You know, you know, poor guys, I think it's bad. Let's just stop it. If you're in the habit of um, calling out um, hatties, Please let's stop it. If you don't like it, please ignore or you scroll over. That's cool. Uh, with my small brush, um, yeah, I've just done the half core crease. That's the half core crease. Um, the brush is by Real Technique. I'm repeating myself for the new service is by Real Techniques. It comes in the set of four. Four, yeah. Foundation powder, um, this one, the small one, and um, I can't even remember. Okay, yeah, the contour brush. I love this brush. I've been using it for ages and it's so perfect perfect if you're watching and you've got any questions any concerns please um drop it in the comment box and if you need to email me is makeup by rosie seven angel at gmail.com um i'm using the first color which is a shimmery pink shimmery pink and i'm applying it with my eyeshadow Brush. Um, to make your shimmery eyeshadow pop and to avoid fallout, it's advisable to dampen your brush. If you don't want to have your face all messed up after your makeup, that's why I don't like really. I don't want fallout. I don't like cleaning, you know, my face after my makeup. I just want it to be cool for me, easy for me mm -hmm. to work with. 
it's good to dampen your brush dampen your brush and open your fallout that's if you're using a shimmery um, eyeshadow sorry guys about I even tell you that I use my eyeshadow blade base before um, applying the eyeshadow is by mix I use it a lot in my tutorial anyway I've showed it times you don't know by my tutorial if you want to know let me know if you want me to show you I can always show it to you just let me know but if you watch my past tutorials you're gonna see I've used it a lot but for my core crease I use a concealer I didn't use the eyeshadow but I use the eyeshadow base first and after that I set it then I did the core crease before with the core crease I use the um, concealer The more color, the more depth. Don't be scared to add the colors until you're satisfied. There is no gimmick, there is nothing. It is just getting it all right. If you want, just watch this tutorial carefully and follow the steps. Watch all my other tutorials. If you've got any questions, please ask me, I'll reply. I don't ignore people. I reply if I don't reply immediately of course I might be busy but trust me I go over all the things and I reply individually I'm adding the second color which is a light blue like sky blue it's shimmery as well that brush is dampened um, you all notice uh, is no there's been no fallout since I've started that's the um, idea behind um, dampening your brush to apply your shimmery high shadow And to blend, this is one of my style to blend the shimmery eyeshadow together or my glitters. I always use the tip of the brush to blend the colors together instead of getting a new brush because sometimes getting a new brush to blend moves um, the color. It's better to use um, the foundation, the sorry, the brush that's been used before to apply the eyeshadow to just blend, blend lightly with a tip, and you're good. I'm adding more. Um, black color I'm applying the glitters now I've applied the glue on the brush before um, applying the glitters. It depends on the glue that you have. Some you have to apply directly on the lid before applying the glitters. While some you need to apply on the brush before you start sticking back on. It depends on the glue you have anyway. Here is the glitters. It's no news anyway, but I love glitters. I know I keep saying it. 
<laughs> I love glitters. I love, 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 love glitters. I'll be adding more. I'll be adding different colors. You know what? Um, I didn't do in this tutorial. I used to mix my glitters, different colors of glitters, before starting. But here, I decided I'm gonna do that. I will be applying it one after the other. I'm gonna apply the first one, the first color, the second, the third, and I'll see how it goes. Usually, I mix. Like I said, I mix. You know, from the start. But here, I went now. Let's just do it step by step and see the first one, the first glitters. Now go over to the second, the third, I think the fourth. Can't remember. <laughs> Maybe three or four. Can't remember. What are you watching? See. Going over with the second glazes. Um, you notice that um, with um, with the glue, there is no there's been no fallout since I started. The face is clean. Sometimes it saves you the energy, the stress of having to clean. You know, you know, you moisturize your face before starting the makeup. So having to clean again, that means you've cleaned the moisturizer, you have to moisturize again, you have to prime again. You know what I mean? You don't want to be going through all that stress, especially when you're rushing to, and that's the second color I'm using, I'm applying the second term. Now, this should be the third now. Am I right? Yeah, the third. It's just best for you to save yourself some time by following the steps. Any questions, eat me up, please. And we're done with the glitter hairs. I hope you like hair. I use that many colors? Yeah. I hope you like it. In the lashes. Once it's glued from the middle, it's easy to glue the other, other ends. The second one is then is then done done. And it's time for the foundation. And of course, I'm using the Black Hope foundation in HC05. I love this foundation, it's beyond a joke. <laughs> That's just me messing about with the foundation. It's matte, it's full coverage. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, you need to prime your face. Without priming the face, let me be honest with you. Um, this foundation can last six hours without priming. Yeah, it can. If uh, you're living in a hot country, I would say you prime yes you prime for heat to last longer but if, if if not then you can you can risk it you can definitely risk it without a primer and it will still take you four hours i use the anesthesia um, stick foundation i'm loving 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 this foundation at the moment it's my new fave trust me and you know once i love the product i'll use it how i use it like i'll abuse the foundation i will abuse the product <laughs> I know many of us are like me. You're like me. Yeah, don't deny it. <laughs> Once you like something, oh my god, I will abuse it. <laughs> and that's me using the same um, foundation brush to blend the contour. Um, I use this. I use this technique a lot. 
um, it gives more flawless look without having that um, you know the petition that it shows like you have um, contour you have whatever but with the foundation brush it blends everything together because you have a bit of foundation and a brush it helps blend everything together you just want a natural finished look isn't it so you get it uh, I said the highs yeah the Honda high I've said it and I'm dusting it off with um, the MAC So guys we're gradually coming to the end of this loop gradually gradually can you see it's all looking good i blend my lips as usual um yeah the highlighter i use a shimmery eyeshadow i i do that a lot <laughs> i do that a lot anyway um the my, um lipstick is by mac and it's called um flat fabulous about this Lipstick now, I think this is the mm, six year, I think so, and it's still awesome. It is still awesome. <laughs> I saw you and I went, Oh my god, where have you been hiding? Where on earth have you been hiding? I picked it up. Trust me, guys, you're gonna be seeing more <laughs> of this lipstick. All right, and the E is a penny shake. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you've got any questions, please let me know.